With a high-level Chinese delegation attending North Korea's key political anniversary event this Saturday, South Korea hopes to see eased inter-Korean tensions. But will the delegation carry a message from Beijing over the North's planned rocket launch? Connie Kim has this report. South Korea's unification ministry is hopeful the senior Chinese official Liu Win Sun's visit to a key political event this week will help ease tensions on the Korean Peninsula. Without elaborating further, Unification Ministry spokesperson Chong Jun-hee said high-level officials' exchanges between North Korea and China are meaningful. Chong's remarks come as the North's state-run Korean Central Television said Sunday that Liu will head the delegation during Saturday's ceremony to mark the 70th anniversary of the founding of North Korea's Workers' Party. The Chinese delegation will attend activities marking the 70th anniversary and pay an official friendly visit to North Korea. It's the first time for a member of the Standing Committee of the Political Bureau of China's Communist Party to visit North Korea. Also Liu, as the fifth most powerful official in China, will be the most senior Chinese official to visit since Kim Jong-un came to power after his father died in 2011. Given that Liu is more senior than even the country's vice president Li Wianchao, watchers believe China wants to mend flagging relations with its longtime ally. However, some experts say China is more interested in maintaining a strategic balance in its relations with the two Koreas. Beijing is leaving the door to communication open as it cannot completely ignore North Korea. Also, China has the short-term mission of preventing North Korea from launching a provocation marking this month's anniversary. During his trip to the United States last month, China's President Xi Jinping said Beijing opposes any actions that cause tension on the Korean Peninsula, adding weight to international calls for Pyongyang to back down from plans to launch a long-range rocket or conduct a nuclear test. Connie Kim, Arirang News.